Berg. What? Where? What? This isn't the arena. Um. What? The heck? Uh, hi guys. This is binary for the win, I think. Maybe, I don't know, things seem to be weird now, and I found a box of raritanium and some money. Ooh, raritanium. I guess while we're here, I might as well, uh... Can I teleport back to the other planet? Uh, let's try to... No, that doesn't work either. Well, that was weird, I guess. Teleportation mix-ups, they, they happen, I guess, you know. Captain Cork fiddling around with the teleportation device. You never know what could possibly happen. Huh. So yeah, my computer is fixed now, so um, this episode hopefully will not have any drop frames because I didn't before, I shouldn't now. If I do, I'll be angry because it means that it was my operating system that was awesome, which was great, except that my computer sort of operating system fail, hard drive, blarg. It looks like I can actually cross from over, yeah. Um, I grinded a bit, to, to be, um, jokes aside, I grinded a lot. I now have almost enough bolts, I was killing a bunch of those, uh, uh Leviathan soul dudes and sold a crap ton of souls to that guy and they didn't respond, so I guess I was wrong about the whole grinding thing, but, uh, whatever. Anyway, so, yeah. Also, EXAMS ARE OVER! Yeah. It's over here, I wonder. Or is it? It kind of looks dangerous, so I don't think I want to go over there and... Yeah! I just did that. I feel accomplished. Another thing is, I think because, unlike most Ratchet and Clank uh, games, I think, maybe, maybe it's just Future 2 that doesn't uh, all for me. I'll do that, but uh... Okay, sorry. Let me get this out of the way first. All Ratchet and Clank games, except for all for one, maybe a few others, have this feature where um, after you beat the game, you can go back through the game with all the stuff from your previous playthrough, and uh, you'll gain double bolts and stuff, and you can get these, um, what are called Omega weapons, I think, if I recall correctly. And those things basically, instead of going to level 5, you go to V10 for all your weapons, or rather VX, sorry, which is literally and basically 10, because it's the 10th level, and it is also literally the 10th level if you can take the, uh, uh, Roman numerals into consideration, so yeah, that's that. Um, other inter so yeah, what I was saying was, how I'm going to handle that is, I think what I'm going to do is, I won't 100% my first playthrough, because this game has a special set of armor you can get in the second playthrough, I don't think other Ratchet and Clank games have that, I could be wrong. But, uh, that's that. Can I break this at all? Is there an off switch? Off switch there is. No? Okay. Uh, okay, so I thought. Uh, it's supposed to create. Oh. I didn't know that was over here. You have discovered another piece of the Gadgetron Hollow Plan. Yeah. So. Jump around top of houses. This music is amazing. I'm getting quite a bit less audio lag. Yeah, I'm getting quite a bit less audio lag. If that's even a sentence, I don't think that's grammatically correct. Actually. Also, I want to explore the um, station where I was grinding, A, because the things might actually respawn after just be being stupid. But another thing is, I did a bit of exploring around there and I saw an interesting spot or uh, part that I felt like I should show you guys. So I didn't do it on my own. It could be nothing, but then again, I can get bolts there anyway. So uh, also, there's a wire covering my bolts. I'll just use a tiny screen, and it looks like I'm almost there. Kind of, sort of, not really. Well, yeah, well, kind of. I only have 500 bolts left to go. So yeah, me. Uh, how do I get up there again? Do I have to use you? Apparently. 
Yeah, how the f frick nuggets do I get up there? Do I go over? No, I've already been over here. Ah, crap. Memory. Work with me. Work with me. Alright. Oh. I see. I'm being silly. Is there any jet boots? And I walk me straight past this grab lift that I... Lift? Stair platform thing that I completely missed last time. We you go binary. You're amazing. Getting the armor, and I know exactly what uh, clank I will be using on the next armor, and I'm beating to sound monotone again, so I should stop doing that. So, uh, yeah, how are my um, viewers doing today? Besides Kyle, because I, know I can ask Kyle in perps person stuff. Oh my god, yes! So I now have enough bolts to buy this. See, oh yeah. Special armor, so I won't, um, I won't 100% the game, so I'll go back and play through, and I'll get all the things I missed in the first playthrough. So yeah, here's the Helios armor. Let's see what he says about this. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Helios armor! Kurt, you engineered, which means it's tougher than anything in three sectors, it's also quite slimming. Uh, okay. Not sure I feel about the armor plating in this. Exquisite choice, sir. Maktar fashion meets Dreadstone sensibility. You said that already. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, school is over for me, so... Meh. No more exams. That model can stop an iridium shell from 20 cubits away, and it's wrinkle-free. Oh my goodness, wrinkle-free, just like this other scene. Okay. Yeah. How do you like this scene? I need to start. I think it sucks because I'm not very good at acting, but that's just me. Anyway, so this armor will be... This armor will be our main suit of armor for pretty much the rest of the game. I mean, there's one... Actually, there's two more because there's a secret armor after beat the game, but, uh... That's, there's not too much other than this, uh, gadgets was it? Yes it was. I'll be using uh, this, because I think it kind of matches the armor. A little bit. Kind of. Maybe not. Never mind. Anyway. I guess a feeling, uh, tracked me to my, um, mishap. Good for you, a feeling. So yeah, well, um, before heading back to, where, to Planet Sargasso, I think what we'll do is I'm gonna head to the New York Asteroid Ring and go around exploring. to do the episode and I haven't really done much other than get new armor and okay I've done a, a bit. But yes, the colors are kind of go with this armor, I think, on the that suit so also. Uh yeah. So let me go now. Which one is it? I think it was this one. Or no yeah, also I was correct about that. That thing does uh, allow you to teleport over there once you find it. But only once you find it. I think it's actually um, the other one besides this one, but there's something else that I saw over here too, so I might as well go here. Also, it appears like those guys do not respond, and I was correct that I was wrong. Yeah, I was correct in saying that I was wrong. See so, ya. Yeah. I love how special new Groovatron, Gremlin's most advanced defense technology. I'd be worried if I was Gremlin if a uh, magic disco ball was their best defense technology, just saying. 
I mean, they improve it in the next game, and it's much more fun because it actually freaking, like, explodes. As I think you can tell, I've sort of harp salvaged this area already. <sighs> and so let's see what's over here. I figured there might be a gold bolt or a... Yeah, hello plan. And that would be why I did not come over here earlier. And this apparently brings me over here. Which is kind of useless because I already killed the guy that was here. However, that is not what I wanted. What I wanted were... That's not where I wanted to go. Where I wanted to go was... Here. Also, I apologize for randomly putting the um, All for One series on a random hiatus for no apparent reason whatsoever. I just. No, we can't. Ah! Don't attack me while I'm busy getting goop. I mean, it's nice of you to offer some, but I don't think I really wanted that much goop. Yeah. So apparently there are more of those uh, gelatonium plant goop things than I originally thought. So I guess I was wrong in saying that uh, that uh, they should need to add more of those. I mean, for a call card, there's actually two of them in the game. This one and another planet, which we might be going to soon, maybe, I think. I don't really know. I'm just trying to thing. Uh, <sighs> Sorry I'm yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. I haven't really been doing that much. Why am I rot yawning only when I'm recording, too? That's unusual. Maybe someone to music, the uh, music thing, where apparently if you play an instrument and you stop playing an instrument, you can yawn more. You get more air, which makes sense. Although it makes me sound like I'm tired, which of course I'm not, even though I've sort of been sitting up late playing this awesome new game. It's like Minecraft, except better, because it's in space. It's called, um... Uh... It's called Starmade. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty cool game. And sheesh, I understand why I sound like this when I'm freaking uh, recording. Because I talk like this when I'm recording. Anyway, that was weird. I tilted forward on the control stick, and then all of a sudden, um, sound went out, which um, you're beginning to repeat yourself, Clank. leave now, and we're going to head back to what we're supposed to be doing, because there is a weapon waiting for us. Lombax weapon, presumably. You never know, it could be just an ordinary weapon, or maybe it could be a Kirchu weapon, or maybe it could also be a binary weapon. And no, I'm not referring to me, I'm referring to the, uh, 